Okay, let's see, we've started. Oh. Pardon any background noise that might happen. Let's see here, so apparently I've been hearing good things about this week's story in Season of the Splicer. Um, prior to starting the stream here, all I did was jumped on, spoke with the Splicer Servitor, and then uh, did an override mission. So I just quickly did the little, little uh, pick up the quest for Path of the Splicer. <coughs> uh, should be this one over here. Yeah. And then, like I said, I just did a quick uh, override mission for the for that quest step. Uh, picked up a couple of bounties, working on these. Um, <clears throat> yeah, looks like I've got one already in terms of seasonal challenges for this week. Been holding on to a couple from, or a bunch from last couple of weeks. Um, right, and just about to start up the expunge mission, the new expunge mission. Uh, like I said, I've hear, been hearing a lot of good things about this season, or this week's uh, story. And before I do that, I want to just check, can we actually still access? Okay, it looks like we can still access the old expunge mission. I was just interested about that. <clears throat> I figured I wouldn't bore the stream with uh, another override mission. There's so many been doing, you know, everybody's doing override missions. There's so many having to do, or everyone's got to do so many of them. You know, it gets repetitive there, so figured I'd start it off with something different, something new. Don't know how, this is not going to be a very long stream, I don't think, but at least, you know, get a start into the, the story for this one. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do an expunge mission. Uh, oh, we've got a barrier champions here. Let's see, this is 1290? Okay, cool. On my warlock right now. Uh, I know I got bounties from before, but I want to just go into this with my best loadout. So I'm just going to put on Lament, some strong stuff. Uh, I should have anti-barrier scout rifle. That works. Yeah, man. Already at max power level with the Warlock. 15 artifacts. That's nice. Yeah, this will be the first time I've taken on the Expunge Sticks mission on the moon. Uh, first impressions? Don't know. We'll see. I have no idea what to expect. I'm not really going to be trying too hard for like. Do you feel that? I'll let him speak first. The more you explore the Vex domain, the more I feel an all-seeing eye upon us. Ever watchful, ever seeking. We trespass in dimensions not meant for either of us. All right. So we still got the same start as the labyrinth expanded mission. Tangled Shore. Okay, okay. The Vex have enacted a purge sweep of the domain. We should stay ahead of it. This is first part is all the same, which is fine, I guess. There we go. Okay, first impressions. I mean, right now, obviously, it's the same as the previous Labyrinth mission, or previous Expunge mission. Thank you, Warlock Glide, for allowing me to be up in the air for longer. Oh, this is going to be tight. Come on. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, this is definitely new. I have no idea what's happening. Uh, is that a relic? No, it just a the shield, probably. If you can activate something, activate it. Okay, I broke it. Authentication key. Expiring in That's nine right, seconds. So I have to... Do I, oh, okay, I just get all of it. I got five seconds. Verify. Wait, so what is... What were those little squares? I didn't see them. Brute force the authentication conflict. This is what my objective is right now. So do I just run my door? Take the authentication key. See, what is this stuff? Oh, does that reset my time? Can I literally just run right through these guys? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, shoot. 
So I guess, does this increase the time I can have it on? Or that I get to have the authentication key maybe? Is that what it is? And I also activated a thing earlier with the, uh, with the splicer gun. Oh, I have no idea what that did. Uh, up some stuff before I pick it up again. If I can even clean it. I don't know if it'll even let me. Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to go around. I think I just pushed it off. Did I just push that off? Uh, okay. I haven't quite pushed it off, but... Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming I hit these things. Oh, it only adds, like, a second to my... to the key. Yeah. Okay, so these little squares, I think, are supposed to add to your authentication key time. Oh, you know what? You're supposed to bring it as far as you can, I think. You have 10 seconds, you bring it as far as you can, and then the farther you make it, the better your odds later. Or you, you'll be able to bring it, you'll be able to have it spawn farther up, farther forward. Okay. The barrier has destabilized. You will need to continue to chip uh... away at the defenses to destroy it entirely. Okay. I gotta do one of each side. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ow! Lasers. Okay. Uh, I guess normal way would be to jump that way. Pass these guys. Okay. Can I shoot that? No, I can't shoot it. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, there's the barrier jump in there. Champion has been defeated. Does that open up? This? No? Yeah. Well, I skipped something. I know that man can help me skip something. Defeat the Nexus Guardian. Oh, this guy. Okay. Where did he go? Okay. I uh, must have. Did I draw something? No. Okay. Oh, he just opened it up. Okay. Take the authentication key. And then I have to take it forward as far as I can. Oh, that's gonna be rough. No. Okay, so does that spawn it farther forward then? Okay, yeah, see, I think I brought it up to this point. Brought it up to this point right here. Okay. Oh. My god, there's so many enemies. Obviously, I'm not going for speed right now. This is my first run ever doing this mission, so I just want to complete it, get a, get a feel for the ropes. And then... Honestly, in terms of like the triumphs for like completing uh, labyrinth or completing expunge missions like within 10 minutes, or uh, just doing stuff in general like in a short time, I did not find a single square on that route to respawn it. Ow, you blow me up. Um, yeah, obviously, like, in terms of the triumphs and, like, completing it within 10 minutes and completing it without dying, like, I could probably still complete this one without dying. I think I've actually done that triumph already for this season, so I don't really need to do it anyways. But if I needed to, like, I could probably just do it on Expunge Labyrinth rather than this one. Like, honestly, I've gotten that one down to, like, 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Ooh, 6 and a... Almost just under 7 minutes, pretty much. Honestly, that one's like, that, the Labyrinth one is like super, super easy. So I could honestly just like, do it there. Where is the squares? Okay, there's one here. There's one here. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the square is supposed to help you like, bring the key forward. So then even though you only have 10 seconds, then the next time you have to pick up a key, it'll be much closer in to where you need it to be. So, verify the authentication key. So that's, okay, that's one. Alright. 
And then, of course, obviously, I have to go to the right side. Is that a portal over there? I think this is an empty spot. Yeah, this is empty. Okay. Get through. Ow. That was bad. Okay. Good. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, I just fell through leaders. Oh. Okay. That was much less deadly than I thought it was going to be. Go through there. So this part is just like a jump through hazards puzzle. This side over there. The harpy. Hello. Don't detain me, please. Get the harpy. Okay. I guess I'll have extra stuff here. Extra platforms. They don't even feel like that much. Oh my god, there's freaking... Wow. I didn't even look underneath myself. I didn't have to actually backtrack, but I figured just to like get a good feel of where everything is, I should probably just use this. Okay, I thought I was going to miss it. Oh, that would take me. Okay, that would have taken me straight to here. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Cyclops. I am desperately trying to uh, keep moving. So this Cyclops can beat on me. There we go. Have the uh, barrier champion spawned yet? Because really all I have to do is do this one mission, like this expunge mission, and all the up subsequent ones, I only need to do them like once. If I can go back into the, uh, what's it called, the, the, uh, the labyrinth expunge mission over and over again, I can already do all of the, all of the seasonal triumphs pertaining to like expunge missions just through labyrinth. Like I said, it, I can do it in like less than seven minutes, and it's just a run around. You just like, keep running forward or whatever. Take the key. Uh, find a square. A square. Uh, there's a square here. Okay, it's technically a square there. Can I make it to this square? Okay, okay. Oh, shoot. One second. Zero seconds. I grabbed it. That'll help me. Okay. Then it'll be right here when I grab. When you need to grab it. Nice. Another ten seconds. Square over here. Thank you. Uh, square right there. Oh shoot. Okay, I see. Right here. And I'll just, uh, maybe can I make it to the next square? Where is the next square? Ah shoot, I missed it. I am not worried about the 10 minute timer at all. Ow. Ow. Did I get it? Okay, it's right here. Nice. Okay, thanks, sir. Oh my god. Oh my. A pillar just spawned right in front of me. Uh, that is not good. I'll take that devour, thanks. Uh, okay. I guess next run, if I ever do this again, I probably shouldn't be wearing a mint. I don't know. Can I actually jump in and do the mint on him there? Eh. Kind of? Not much. It's not even respawn restricted, so I mean, I can die as much as I want. It's really just a matter of like, how quickly do you want to get it done? Or, you know, how many deaths does it take for you to get it done, really? So it's not going to be... But yeah, I guess a better, a different, a different, uh, heavy weapon would probably be another. If I were to do it again. Again, I not even know what I would do. I mean just for the fun of it I could do it again. I don't know. Duck for that. Duck for that cover piece. I have to admit, I really like the Ikeela's SMG now. I haven't actually uh, Oh my god, I just got hit straight in the face! Sorry, I didn't 
interruption. Uh, I want my devour back. Uh, there is a barrier jump right here. No, not a barrier jump. Okay, where does this need to go? It needs to go all the way over there. I'ma just cheese all of that security. All those security lasers don't mean crap to me. Well, I guess I could, by doing this one, I'll technically have done one. Wait, no. Have I died here? Oh, now I have. I was going to say if I could maybe count this as a deathless run, but I guess I already just killed myself. But obviously, like I said, if I really need deathless runs, then I can always just do freaking Expunge Labyrinth on Tangent Shore. It doesn't actually, like, invalidate it. Like, it's not like week by week, you know, you have to do the one of the week and it rotates or anything. It's just like, you do whichever one you want, really. I mean, the only reason I'd be doing this one at all is because of this particular week's splicer class, that's it. So, other than that, I probably would like to do the other ones more. Eh, 13 minutes and 45 seconds, pretty much. There we go. Not my best time, but I don't need it. The Vex have forced upon us. The tapestry of their design continues to fray. But this is far from over. Lakshmi is certain that our continued efforts, combined with future war cults technology, can locate the source of the Endless Night. I am aware of the device Lakshmi uses. Does it not worry you? In what way? It is taxing on its user. To have one's consciousness fractured into countless splinters and rejoined again can be harrowing. Lashmi is up to the task. This sort of technology is taboo among the Elixni. But perhaps House Light can still offer some assistance. My engineers could improve on the design, make it easier for Lakshmi. No, no. The, the Black Armory has already provided necessary enhancements for us. Lakshmi will manage, I'm confident. Besides, the less interaction Lakshmi has with your people at the moment, the better. Yes, perhaps... Or perhaps you are right. Cool. Yeah, sure helps when they don't spawn a pillar in the way. Yeah, I had a pillar there, uh, you know, at the very beginning of the Cyclops fight, and pretty much just Nova bombed straight into my own face. But, like I said, I only need to do this once, and then I'll just run pretty much Expunge Labyrinth if I want to do it from then on. Uh, just head to the tower first. But yeah, pretty much, I guess the triumphs I'm talking about would be... Let's see here. Uh, is it this one? No, it's the activities. Come on now. There we go. Lossless compression. Expungements without dying. I mean, obviously the ones I just had, or the ones I just did. Uh, it's a little easier to die, because there's so many ads everywhere, but if you just do, uh, what's it called? If you just do uh, Expunge Labyrinth, you know, that's a really, really quick one. So, I like doing it on my Titan especially, because I just smash it with, uh, smash the big Minotaur with a uh, Thunder Crash and then lament him. So, pretty easy, pretty quick. And then as long as you know the route getting there, it's like really simple. I just pick up this up. Uh, scout rifle, Vex Harpies, melee. Okay. Uh, how much? I have way too many. I have way too much ether. Because I can't even, I can't even do so many friggin' override runs. I don't want to do 11 runs. Let's put it that way. I don't want to do 11 runs all in a row. I think I make like 75. I make like 75 decrypted data per run. That'd be like 825 Checking. decrypted data, like right off all together at the same time. Uh, I have an ascendant shard. I don't want a mass to work anything. 
Do you have something, something for me? You? Oh, okay. Bright Everybody Engram. Has it. I'm on PS4. I have loading times. Okay, uh, that's a sparrow. Um, is any good? It's not even 160. Reloads weapons while you ride. I'm pretty sure I've got a couple that do that. Like this one. It's a 160 and it's an exotic. The only reason I keep EV37 Void Streak, which is the legendary sparrow that you saw or you might have seen I was equipped, I had equipped, um, is just because it actually makes enemies, or at least it claims that enemies are less aggressive towards you. So I guess that's kind of, that actually is pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna shut up in case uh, I can't anything special. There's been a disturbance, sabotage in the Elixni camp. This wasn't just an attack on their ether stores. Someone wanted to send a message. Our citizens forget who they were before they found the safety of the city's walls. It's easy to mistake change as the front line of a battlefield, but this is a time for level heads and compassion. Saint-14 is already en route to investigate. I trust him, but he is torn between duty and doubt. And Lakshmi? The Vanguard has tolerated her broadcasts, as Zavala doesn't believe it's our place to interfere in civilian politics. I see now that was a mistake. We can't allow anyone to jeopardize our alliance with the House of Light, no matter their motives. Our citizens must see that the Elixni are people, just like them. Get down there. Be the calm the city needs. Hear out grievances and keep tensions low while I root out the perpetrators. It's time that Lakshmi and I had a little talk. Okay, do you have a special, uh, a special mission or is this it? Now you're a tolerated broadcast, yeah, be calm city needs. Witness the exchange in the Elixni quarter. Oh, okay. May you find what you see. So it's just kind of a go to that area and then sort of a as you walk up. Okay, okay, sure. Do that quickly. Um, shoot in the corner. I don't know, I mean, aside from the fact that, you know, the fallen babies and all that stuff, I honestly don't feel opposed to having fallen within the walls. You know, I mean, obviously I get the sentiment of, like, the conflict they're trying to establish between, like, those who want the fallen in there and those who don't, but if you ask me personally, I'm, o I'm okay with it, I guess. I get yeah for now. I, I don't I don't see any reason not to trust them for now. Um, I mean, of course, like you know, before I walk up, maybe. Um, I guess my idea would be that like some guardians, like you know, if if, if for what, for whatever reason, yo, pretend this is real life, right? Realistically, you'd have guardians that go out into the field, and you'd have a bunch of guardians in the city, right? So maybe they're, you know, if I'm the special guardian going out into the field, quote unquote, you know, you still got like some pretty strong guardians, like in the city at any given time, right? So, I mean, if anything happened. Okay, here we go. You see what was done? Our ether tanks smashed, our supplies stolen. Our home defaced. I cannot find any witnesses. This is not surprising. The locals have been under enormous pressure. You're lucky it was not worse. This destruction helps no one but the Vex. Please, instead of teaching your people to fear us, tell them the truth. The truth is that your kind has preyed upon us for as long as we can remember. There's nothing I can say that will make them forget. House Light has never raised arms against humanity. Your houses and titles are layers of politics. You're still 
fallen. You promised us your protection. And you've had it. We allowed your brood to squat and chitter here in our city. But still, the Vex simulation persists. If you're displeased with how you have been treated for your failure, then I suggest you camp elsewhere. Your people destroyed what little we possessed. Now we have nothing, nowhere to go. Humanity faced a challenge like that once. We banded together and built a city with walls to keep our enemies outside, where they belong. We hear her broadcasts, but more than that, we feel the energy of her words in the air. Sharp as blades pointed at an enemy. At us. You cannot ask people to live alongside their monsters. Listen to me now, Saint. Let me tell you something about monsters. grander even than yours, we prospered. But it did not last. Our great machine abandoned us. And when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing. And then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe from its insatiable rage. In its eyes, even the most innocent of Elexni were still fallen. It could die, but it would not stay dead. It would shake off the rot and rise again. And if it caught you in its crushing embrace, impaled you on its ragged crest, dragged you screaming into its foul shell, none live to speak of these horrors. It called itself the my people must now see the creature every day. It sees us. If we wish to survive, we must all learn to live alongside our monsters. Okay. I was about to speak and then that happened. That was a big reveal. I mean, even uh, I mean, obviously, long before he even said Saint's name, I could tell by like just the shape of his helmet that it was him. But damn, I man, I knew Saint for like the Vex stuff, but I mean, I guess I don't read enough lore, maybe. But I knew Saint for Vex stuff, but like eh, not as much Fallen. I mean, I guess naturally, since we were Guardians defending ourselves from the Fallen, then, uh, I guess technically he'd be one of them, so. Okay, gotta go receive the message from Lakshmi, or at least listen to her broadcast in the helm. Uh, from the looks of it, I think that's just the end. That should be the end of the, uh... That should practically be the end of the Path of the Splicer quest for this week. After that, I guess we'll just, uh, I don't know. Well, maybe I'll do the Lost Sector. But I don't think it's for Chester. I don't even think it's for... It's not for the legs. 
Because I, I think the new season exotics are legs. I mean, I guess we can maybe do another override for more powerful decks. I guess that might, that might be an idea. Probably have a couple more of these engrams to put out. I'll keep one because at some point I'll have the whole splicer gauntlet upgraded. Um, and then I'll be able to just start focusing stuff with the decrypted data. At least I just don't I want to have enough room so it doesn't fill up my inventory so quickly. Uh, oh, hollow projector. I will shut up again. Guardian, I regret you had to witness my outburst earlier with the fallen leader. I am not a diplomat, and sometimes I can be terse. I know terrible things have been done in the name of the city. In the name of the future war court. In my name. You understand, though. The city is a living thing. And it is rejecting the fallen, like a fever, burning out an infection. I will speak to the fallen leader. Tell it that the future war court will personally replenish their supplies when they are ready to move on. I do not wish them to think badly of us. I know they are your associates. What a city we would have if everyone's heart was as big as yours. Have you heard the song of the people echoing through the city? Rise up as one, march toward the sun. Hmm. The words of people reaching for dawn in this endless night. People who have still not given up hope. Neither have I. And if you were wondering, this was not the conflict I have foreseen. No, that will come later, unless I can stop it. Okay. I have no words left to speak. Lakshmi too. A saint. I do not know if I've reached them. In truth, I do not know if I even reach you. So this night weighs on me more than any other. Know this. I will not stop fighting for those in this city. Even those who did this. The light passes through us all. We focus it through the prism of our will. Those who attacked us were blinded by fear. Poisoned. My venomous words. They were focused badly. Bent badly. But they are not truly our enemies. We will not seek vengeance. We are not the monsters some believe us to be. Walking the path of the 
might takes strength. That is what we will remember tonight, as fear and hunger gnaw at us. As our hatchlings sleep in ashes. Okay. I think that's the end of the quest. I don't think this has opened up yet. So what did we learn today? Um, I'm not so sure Lakshmi is being that sincere when she says like, oh, I, she doesn't want the Fallen to think badly of her or of us. And that like, if everybody's heart was as big as mine type of thing. That, that line really got me when she said like, oh, if, you know, what a world we would be in if everyone's as heart was, were as big as yours. I don't know, I feel like that one's kind of sarcastic. I feel like she didn't really mean that. I mean, you know, with her broadcast and stuff, I guess she's still trying to just fuel the fire of people, you know, against the Elixir and whatnot. Uh, I mean, I go, I could hold on to this. Well, hold on. How much decrypted data do I have? Twelve fifty-five. Um. There's only one more column left on the splicer gauntlet, meaning that should probably be just 900, so I could technically focus like two end rounds. With like 300 data. And then I'll probably still be like running a bunch of other override missions. Um. Oh, wait, season of splicer. I wasn't even, I wasn't thinking. Uh, okay, so I need to do tier three. I don't think it really matters which one I grab. I mean, intellect, I guess? I don't know. Uh, okay, sure, focus two things. I don't think, yeah, it's still 1310. And I focus for intellect, right? So 62, 61. It's not even that great, honestly. I'm just focusing just for the hell of it. Like, I have, I have, a, I have a void one that does 65 without the mod. Or without any extra mods to increase it. So... And it's interesting, you actually focus it and it just decrypts directly into something right off the bat. Uh, take a look here. Got Umbral Hacker. Really? Oh, it's one, three, and then how many is this one? If it's only like five, then it's going to be really quick. If you didn't already know, I don't live alone, so there are other people in the home. Anyways, um, let's see. Oh, I've got one more here. There we go. Nice. We got a lore piece. Nice. I'm not much of a lore reader. I leave that to my name is Bife and Datto and whoever. <laughs> I probably, I don't know if I really wanted to dedicate myself. I could read lore, but I don't know. I just don't feel like I have the time, I guess. I mean, I game, but not that much, or at least not to that extreme. I'm, I, I still game to an extreme, you know, in the eyes of some people, but I don't really, uh, you know, I'm not that extreme. Okay, so this has been a quick story stream for Path of the Splicer number four. Uh, it was pretty good. You know, the big reveal of Saint-14 being their monster and whatnot. Um, I, I'm gonna be probably away from keyboard, as it were, for a while. So I don't really wanna con keep the stream running just for you to stare at like my ship the whole time. I don't know how long it'll be, but uh, you know. Okay, so until next time. Oh, and one more thing to those who tuned in today, thank you for uh, thank you for tuning in, and uh, feel free to come back another time if there's uh, if I'm streaming again. Appreciate it.